Today, I'm going to be playing out the career of Stefan Diggs, but after every season, he's going to be switching to a new team. So, I mean, obviously, as you guys can see to start off year number one, my boy Stefan Diggs is on the Buffalo Bills. And as you can see, I mean, right out of the gate, this team is already built to win a Super Bowl. The offense is stacked, and it's the same story with the defense. I mean, this is probably a top five defense in the league right now. So, I'm hoping we can get off to a hot start here in year number one. I mean, there's actually no way that the Bills missed the playoffs. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and sim to the playoffs and hopefully we can have a crazy record to start this video off. And as you can see, the Bills had one hell of a season going 15 and two to absolutely annihilate the division. And that record is also gonna give us the number one seed in the playoffs. And I mean, as you can see, it looks like Diggs actually went off this season with 1,277 yards for 13 touchdowns, which is a career high. But anyways, it looks like we got to take on the Raiders in the divisional round. I mean, we all saw what the Bills did to the Raiders a week ago. So hopefully the same thing happens here. And it looks like the Bills are going to get the dub. So now we play Lamar Jackson and the Ravens for a trip to the Super Bowl. I mean, we're going to have to have a solid drive to start this game off because I mean, the Ravens probably have like the second best defense in the league next to the Eagles. Harris, that is a bigger run than I thought we would have got. As you can see, the Ravens did bring up a third down after that play though so i mean i'm gonna try and go for Knox here and hopefully he can keep the drive alive oh that's gonna be close we got it though so that's gonna be another first down we're already in the second quarter now though and i mean nothing has happened so far it's been all defense this game that is not what i was looking for i don't want to totally abandon the run game but i mean it's pretty difficult to get yards on the run against this team Knox is wide open though so that's gonna be another first down and we're in the red zone so as long as i play it safe here hopefully we can get a touchdown and get some points on the board again though the run is just not happening today third and ten no so i mean i'm running bench here which probably isn't the best decision but i trust digs i'm gonna throw a prayer and it looks like that's gonna work out for a touchdown not gonna lie i honestly did not have much hope there i thought that was gonna get stopped but my boy stefan Diggs got open so we're gonna take the lead first here but i mean it's time to sim and hopefully we can be heading to the super bowl after this as you can see we have a one score lead in the fourth quarter it's been pretty much all defense so far but the ravens are gonna tie it and they got the ball back with 45 seconds on the clock and it's looking like they just kicked a game-winning field goal so that is a very disappointing way to end off the season the part that sucks the most is when we were heading into the fourth quarter we were up 14 nothing and we ended up losing 17 to 14 so i mean we totally fumbled the bag there giving up that two score lead but i mean on the bright side it looks like our boy josh allen did end up winning mvp this season and it looks like the ravens ended up beating the cowboys in the super bowl i mean as a ravens fan i really like to see that but anyways that's gonna bring us to year number two and as you can see it looks like our boy stefan Diggs signed with the cleveland browns and as you can see by this offense i mean the browns are actually stacked to the max right now and it's not just the offense the defense is also loaded with weapons i mean we have an 89 overall offense and an 87 overall defense so i'm actually expecting the browns to make a playoff run this year but i guess there's only one way to find out if that happens so we're gonna go ahead and sim to the playoffs i mean the way this team is built there is no way we actually miss out and just like the bills the browns went off this season going 15 and 2 to win the division we played a raiders in the wild card round apparently for the second season in a row the bills also went 15 and 2 so they ended up getting the number one seed in the playoffs but it looks like we're gonna take down the raiders with a three-point win so now we play the jags in the divisional round but apparently that's as far as we're gonna get because we're gonna take a very disappointing l so just like every season the browns are gonna disappoint their fans which kind of sucks because i mean that team was stacked but anyways it looks like Diggs had another solid season with 1083 yards for nine touchdowns and it looks like this season joe burrow is gonna win mvp josh allen came Came second place so i mean he almost got back-to-back -back mvps and apparently the chiefs are gonna beat the niners in a super bowl rematch this season but anyways that's gonna bring us to year number three and it looks like our boy is hungry for a ring because he signed with the chiefs i mean just as you'd expect out of the kansas city chiefs this offense is absolutely stacked but on the downside travis kelsey retired so we have Ertz now and it's the same story of the defense i mean they're absolutely loaded with weapons i mean the chiefs always go off and make the 
playoffs. So now that they have Diggs, I don't think it's going to be any different this season. But once again, we're going to go ahead and sim to the playoffs. And I mean, hopefully we can end up getting the number one seed. And it looks like my boy Stefan Diggs is fitting in just fine because the Chiefs went 17 and 0 to win the division, which is also going to give us the number one seed in the playoffs. I mean, this is by far our best chance at winning a Super Bowl. We literally have not lost a single game on this team yet, but Diggs had 1,300 yards for 17 touchdowns, which is a new career high. And I mean, in the process of breaking records this season, he also went up to a 99 overall. But anyways, it looks like we got to take on the Patriots in the divisional round. We should be able to destroy them. I mean, this is a complete mismatch and it looks like we're going to get the win. So now we play the Ravens for a trip to the Super Bowl and it looks like they did end up scoring first. So we're down seven, nothing right now, but I'm hoping that we can have a solid drive here and tie the game up. I mean, again, this offense is ridiculous. I'm actually kind of excited to play this drive. Pacheco is gone. That is a huge pickup. I mean, I feel like if we didn't stumble and go out of bounds there, that probably could have been a touchdown, but I'm going to switch it up here and try and put it in the air. Hopefully Diggs is open. I'm not going to risk that though. We're going to go for Ertz, who's going to give us another first down. I want to try and get this Diggs Mahome connection going. So I'm going to see if we can find him in the end zone. I mean, this play is kind of risky to run right now, but it looks like it's going to work out for a touchdown. So just like that, we're going to tie the game up. As you can see, we're tied up at 21 in the fourth quarter. So I'm coming out right now. I mean, we need five yards for the first here. I want to try and get a game winning drive going here because th th this team needs to be in the Super Bowl. This guy is wide open. Let's go, Tony. That is not going to be a touchdown, but that's a huge pickup. Last time I ran this play, it gave me a touchdown with digs. I mean, it's also short field here, though. So I have a feeling it's probably going to get stopped, but it looks like Ertz is going to be open. We're going to be... Oh, we're, we're in. I thought we got stopped at the one yard line, but we're going to take the lead back here. So after that, I mean, hopefully we can salt the game away, but Lamar has been going off. So that's kind of making me nervous. We're going to take the win 41 to 35. I mean, as expected, Lamar sent it to OT. That game was an absolute war, but we got the win and that's all that matters. So in year number three, the Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl. And as expected with a 17 and 0 record, Patrick Mahomes Holmes is going to win MVP this season. But it looks like for the second time this video, we got another Super Bowl rematch against the Niners. So, I mean, this should be a good game. Their defense is cracked. But, I mean, I'm hoping that we can go off here and get the job done. I mean, if we win this game, we get the Super Bowl. But even better, that means we'll finish the season with a 20-0 and record. The Niners brought up a third and six after that play, though. So, we need a first here. I'm putting all of my trust in digs right now. And it looks like it's going to pay off. And we're going to hit the G. So we're still going. That is a ridiculous run, man. Clearly, my boy Diggs is hungry for a Super Bowl because that was an absolute highlight reel. I'm going to go on the run of Pacheco here, though. And it looks like it's going to work again. I mean, the run game has been nice to me today. I just got to make sure I don't do too much and throw a pick here, though, because we are in good position to get a touchdown. But one mistake and we're done. I mean, we all know how the Niners work. We're going to find Diggs for another first down, though. So, I mean, another solid player, too, and we should hopefully be in the end zone. Diggs is probably going to be locked up here. I'm not even going to lie. So we're just going to go for Ertz and it looks like we're going to squeeze in for the touchdown. So the Chiefs are going to take the lead in the Super Bowl first here. And I really hope we can hold on to that. We're going to sim to the end of this game. If we win, that is huge. I mean, that means we go 20 and 0 and get a Super Bowl ring. As you can see, we have a one score lead in the fourth quarter with two minutes to go. And it looks like we're going to get the ball back and score again. So we're up by 11 and the clock is gonna run out so it looks like the Chiefs actually ended up going undefeated this season which is actually insane I mean that Mahomes Stefan Diggs duo might be the best duo I've ever seen so for the second time in this video the Chiefs are gonna take down the Niners in the Super Bowl and Stefan Diggs is gonna get himself a well-deserved Lombardi trophy this year but anyways that's gonna bring us to year number four and as you can see it looks like Diggs signed with the Bucks this year and I mean all on Honesty, it looks like this offense has kind of taken a downfall, but on the other hand, the defense is absolutely loaded. 
And you know what they say, defense wins championships, and that might be the best defense in the league. So we're going to sim to the playoffs. I'm not sure if we're going to make it just because of how bad that offense is. But if we do, I can guarantee you it's because we got carried by the defense. But as you can see, it looks like Tampa is going to fumble the bag because we went 4-13 and to finish last place in the division. Obviously, that record is not going to put us in the playoffs. On the bright side, Diggs had another pretty solid season with 1,400 yards for 12 touchdowns but it looks like joe burrow is gonna win mvp this season i'm pretty sure that's the second mvp he's got today and it looks like trevor lawrence and the jags are gonna beat the lions in the super bowl i mean i feel like that is a super random game but anyways that's gonna bring us to year number five which is gonna be the final season of this video and to end things off it looks like dig signed with the 49ers and as you can see i mean the offense is loaded with weapons i say we have a very decent chance at winning another super bowl ring and same story with the defense they are also stacked to the max i mean just like the chiefs the niners have made it to the super bowl twice they haven't won it yet though so hopefully they can make it again here we're gonna sim to the playoffs for the final time though and hopefully we can end things off on a good note and as you can see the niners are gonna go 15 and 2 to win the division which is also gonna give them the number one seed in the playoffs but as you can see i mean Diggs had his worst season yet with 990 91 yards for 11 touchdowns which isn't even bad it's also fair at the same time because he was a second string wide receiver next to iu who's gone all the way up to a 99 overall by the way but as you can see we gotta take on the bears who are eight and nine in the divisional round i mean if we lose to a team with a negative record i don't even know what to tell you but luckily for us we're gonna get the win so now we play the falcons for a trip to the super bowl i'm gonna start things off and hopefully we can get a decent pickup with mccaffrey here we need need to have a good drive too because i mean as you can see the falcons did score first so we're down seven nothing and apparently that last play only gave us one yard so i'm gonna put the ball in the air this time and hopefully Diggs can get open i mean that's looking promising we're gonna find him and avoid that man so that's a first down Diggs has been on an absolute mission so far today so i'm gonna try and get him the ball here again oh this might not work we're getting sacked that is a huge loss man i knew that play was risky but I didn't think it was going to collapse that badly. I'm going to try and hit Ayuk here, though. And it looks like that's going to be a decent pickup. We almost got the first. I'm just going to run it with McCaffrey now, though, because, I mean, one yard and we do get a first down. Ayuk ended up getting injured on that last play, though, which is very, very bad. On the bright side, we do still have Diggs and Debo. So, I mean, even if someone gets injured, this team's still stacked. It just told me he has broken ribs, though. So, that's probably going to mean he's going to be out for the Super Bowl if we win this game, which definitely sucks but as i said we still have all the weapons we could possibly ask for here digs please bro we got it that's another first down i gotta make sure i don't run something stupid and get rid of the football though so i'm gonna play it safe now and hopefully we can get in the red zone here digs again that's another first down let's go all honesty i mean at this point digs might be the best wide receiver in the league at getting yardage after the catch that should be another first down and we're gonna squeeze in for the touchdown so that's gonna tie the game up so that's another touchdown from Diggs. but you guys know the drill we're gonna sim to the end of this game and i mean hopefully we can win this and make one last run at the lombardi trophy this year as you can see we're tied in the fourth quarter but we're gonna get a field goal which puts us in front and we're gonna get another one i was hoping for a touchdown there but it doesn't matter because the clock's gonna run out and we're gonna get the win so for the third time in this video the niners are going Going to the super bowl and for the third time in this video they're going to be taking on patrick mahomes and the chiefs in the super bowl but anyways it looks like jalen hurts is going to win his first mvp of the video here i think we all know what we're in for here though because i mean this is the third time this super bowl has happened and the last two times the chiefs won it so hopefully the niners can get their revenge here i mean as you can see the chiefs did also score first so we're already down seven nothing so i mean right out of the gate this is a pretty important drive here we're gonna get a first down with Debo though after that I'm gonna try and go for a shot with Diggs here I mean there's a very high chance this gets shut down as you can see we also have Kittleback who was out for the last game we're gonna find Diggs though so that's another first down but now that we have Kittle I'm gonna try and get him open for a play here because we haven't ran with him yet obviously and it looks like it's gonna work out amazingly okay seven yards to go so as long as we don't screw this up one or two plays and we should be in the end zone Diggs is looking good that's 
going to be another touchdown from Stefan Diggs. I don't even know what to tell you, man. This guy's been going off today. I, I couldn't even tell you how many touchdowns he's got this video. But that's going to be another one, and it's time for the moment of truth. We're going to sim to the end of this game. Niners have not won a Super Bowl yet, so hopefully they can actually get their revenge this time. And as you can see, we have a one-score game in the fourth quarter, but we are going to tie it. And the cheat... Okay, this is just back and forth at this point. We're in overtime, which is crazy for a Super Bowl game. We gave the ball up, though, and it looks like the Chiefs are gonna score, man. So for the third time today, Patrick Mahomes is gonna take down the 49ers for another Lombardi trophy, which kind of sucks, but I mean, at least our boy Diggs got one Super Bowl. We had one hell of a run. We already know this, though. Patrick Mahomes is just way too hard to beat. Because, I mean, as you can see, this man is literally hoisting his third Lombardi trophy of the video here. But that's gonna do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It'd really help out the channel. And if you have any video ideas, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to get to as many of them as I can. And while you're down there, you might as well comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.